everyone, welcome back for episode 6 of N Plus One Channel's Let's Play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Now this is the uh, PlayStation 3 version, so I know that there are some fancy goodies that I'm unfortunately missing out by not playing a more modern version. Unfortunately that can be helped. Uh, N Plus One Channel does not currently have a current generation console. Uh, we're hoping to fix that as soon as possible. Now, on an unrelated note, let's do some awesome stuff. Let's do the thing. All right, so we're back with Calain. This is episode six, by the way, if I didn't mention that. Uh, and what have we done? Well, we've killed the, uh, the last giant. Um, and we picked up a bunch of items. I've actually got things set up pretty well. This is, this is a really good start. But now I have a lot of experience with this game, too. So, you know, if you're kind of watching and laying like, man, you know, how do you know all that? Well, I remember uh, over the course of time... Um, so, you know, that, that is an, an advantage that I can't, well, I can confer to you, right? Because you can actually watch it and you can learn and you can do this yourself. And there's nothing cooler than being able to do things for yourself. So without further ado, uh, there is an area that I want to go ahead and unlock. It requires us to go back to the Cardinal Tower. Now we're going to do co-op whenever possible because, uh, the thing about this is that otherwise it's going to take a very long time. Now, as you've watched, um, I'm positive that you've seen that I have the skills to handle my own as well. So I'm not worried about it. Like, I'm not worried about someone being like, man, you're such a noob. I can't believe you do all this co-op. Well, I do all this co-op because A, co-op is fun. B, because co-op is a blast. And three, because I don't like the letter C. Uh, well, and the other thing is it's efficient, actually. That, that is three or C or, you know, A, B, C, D, whatever, right? That's C. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to summon somebody. Yohab24. You're going to be uh, semi-YouTube famous, unless you already are, right? Like, I'm making the presumption that maybe maybe they're streaming me. Wouldn't that be cool to be, uh, to be like, restreamed, right? Like, so it's like Twitter or something, and I'm, I'm, I'm streaming and restreaming or something. Oh man, this this mic picks up on those puzz. Breath of air. Puh, puh, puh. Oh man, I can't stand these bilabial plosives. They're ridiculous. I well, actually, you know, uh, puh sounds are are kind of nice. Muh sounds, right? You know. Um, what what is a muh sound? It's a it's a bilabial. Mm, um, mm. Well, you know what? Even though it's bilabial, I guess it's technically a nasal. Even though I really think of like an N or N, it's going to be in the nasal. I'm really into linguistics. Sometimes you'll actually hear me uh, make references when games have uh, fictional languages. Because I really get into that stuff, actually. Um, and, you know, when I play through Panzer Dragoon Orta, I, uh, I hope to uh, actually do some, I don't know, analysis of the language. Uh, and I talked a little bit about linguistics in the context of Nier. But, yep, I'm going to... Yeah, that's right. We can slide down. Forgot about that. Now I've only got no, 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 no. We don't need to go that way. We don't need to go that way. Thank you. Instead, we are actually going this way. And you may or may not then have fought the pursuer. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I want to fight the pursuer. Shoot, I want to fight the pursuer ahead of time. Actually. Because those are extra souls that I'd be missing out on otherwise. Uh, yeah, no, no, I changed my mind. Actually, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This way. Hey, hey, hey. This way. All right, no, no. I know, I know you're doing your own thing. You think you know what you're doing. Uh, and you do. You do, but I'm taking a non-traditional route here. And that's okay. We are going to go ahead and we're going to defeat the Pursuer. Okay, you're going to be my buddy, and I'm going to trust that you are competent enough to do this. And if you're not, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Oh, shoot. Look at me. I'm just, like, leaving his. Uh, well, I could go ahead and climb down, but I'm sure he's going to be okay. W where are you at? Where are you at? All right. Up, up, up. There we go. And then we're going to go through the wall. And why are we going to go through the wall? Because, as you saw, I think, in episode four... We can go ahead and we can fight the Pursuer actually way early and get some swag. In terms of soul, soul swag. Ow, that hurt a little. All right. 
Okay, yeah. Thank you. Oh, awesome. You totally get it. You totally get what I'm getting after. Alright. Yeah, and we don't even get boss music on this, which is okay. I'm gonna do as much damage as I can from a distance, but I really need a heavier soul arrow at this juncture in the game to do the types of damage that I want to do to the pursuer. And he's got this cool little Cylon eye. You know, we don't get a cutscene for him, unfortunately, when we do it like this. Uh, but we'll see that momentarily, actually, when we when we fight him like the kind of the proper way. I don't want to say the proper way, but maybe the more traditional way. Alright, so he's he's getting a little heat here. But he's doing a lot more damage, I think, than I am. All right. All right, come on. Go ahead and pay attention to me. Oh, man, come on. I'm really not trying to get you killed, and I'm not trying to consume all of my soul arrows either. All right, you gonna do the thing on me? Oh, no, you're not. You just postured, okay. All right, Soul of the Pursuer and the Ring of Blades. Very cool. Ha ha, excellent comrade. Very cool. Now we're, we're gonna, I think we can do it still the traditional way. And that's totally fine. We can totally do it the traditional way. My 18 to 20 souls. Now, this game actually has two concepts when it comes to tracking uh, the amount of souls you got. So you have soul memory, uh, which was somewhat controversial when it came to how it would match people uh, for the online. And uh, of course, then with soul memory too, um, you also then have... Uh, you have your actual level, like your SL, your soul level. So if you ever actually participate in any, uh, what? Where'd you go? I, I, uh, yeah, this way, this way, this way. Are you leaving? You're not, you're not in your menu, but you are just kind of standing there. Yo, Hob. Yo. Apkahahe. Come on, this way. Donde estas, mi amigo? Amigo mio. Ven acá. Ven aquí, rather. All right. All right. That's a fast way to open a door, by the way. Oh, you know what? Let me not waste these soul arrows. Just in case I actually have to fight the pursuer again. You know, I'm not sure if you do it within the same life or not, if you still have to fight him twice. This is a detail I just don't genuinely remember. But, well... You know, our buddy's been hanging in pretty well. I'm actually kind of kind of happy about him, happy with him, right? So, you know, uh, man, you're doing a good job. Uh, you know, if you happen to see this video, Tanfastic. If you don't happen to see this video, it ain't a thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's something up here, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, like, items up here. Mm, soul of a Nameless Soldier, very cool. And, and yeah, so we're going to go through the mist. Right? Terrible movie. Now, I'll be honest with you. Your partners, when you do this part, can kill you. And it is absolutely terrible. Except he's totally gone. Oh, all right. Man. All right, cool. So, yeah, I don't even have to worry about it. We, we did the thing and didn't even have to worry about it. Now, very cool. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to head to the next area. Um, or at least the next area in our playthrough. So, I know that there's a couple... Uh, preferred ways for you to go. I think of this as the most natural progression of the game, um, but there are some who argue that this is actually not the natural progression, uh, and that in fact you're supposed to go through the other entrance to uh, well, to the next area. And we'll, we'll see what the next area is together then, okay? Oh man, I'm so tired. Man, I feel like a chick. Oh, I'm gonna just lay in this basket. 
And off to Mordor we go. Mordor, less door, Ring of Restoration, a protective ring passed down from in the house, Austeria, gradually restores HP. In the sacred land of Lindell, this ring symbolized prosperity and longevity for the great house, Austeria. But the ring is fragile and breaks easily, as if it hates being taken for granted. Oh, yeah! Wait, wait, alright. So there's all these rings, too, then, in this game that, that kind of break the spirit of the game. Uh, and I'll be honest, I don't remember where they are. Sometimes I'll grab them, I guess... Not to be specifically cheap. Oh man, do I not get the trophy for killing the pursuer like that though? I don't think I get the trophy for killing the pursuer like that. Are there? Yeah. Oh man. I just, I totally. I'll have to actually replay it. And uh, well, no, 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 that's all right. My uh, my co-commentator here, he's doing a B side of this and. As soon as maybe next week, then, uh, perhaps he will be willing to take a dive back into the land of Drang Lake. I know his experience was a little bit frustrating. Um, I'd like to encourage him, actually, to, to watch some of, some of these videos because I, I show a lot of strategies that are very easy to implement and, um, and then can be used uh, such that, you know, you can actually, like, learn the game, like, well. Um, or, you know, well enough, right? I'm, I mean, uh, you know, if you watch a real professional channel, they're going to blow what I'm doing out of the water. Uh, you know, um, disclaimer. I'm not saying that we are not a real professional channel. Okay, so, cool. Now, I think there was something I needed 12 Fae for, that healing spell. I'm going to get my Vigor up a little bit more. Um, and, and really, I need to just start working through some of these other stats a tiny bit. Uh, my Intelligence, I can totally stick there. But like, Vitality, which one does that do? That's my Equip Load and Endurance. Physical Defense. Yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, these are the stats I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, we did actually an int plus one. Ha 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 ha, right? This is funny, right? So funny. Sofa King. I am the Sofa King. Okay, very cool. We have unlocked the last not the last, the lost Bastille. So um, I'm very much looking forward to going to the lost Bastille. Now that is actually a very frustrating area. So I'm going to take a little bit of a segue and uh, we're going to go back to where we died before because now we can kind of go ahead and do the thing and, and do it a little bit better. Oh, oh, and you know what though? There was a shh. I need to level up my attunement though. I, I, you know, really, I just need to kind of plan this out. So, ultimately, you know, I'm a sorcerer right now, but that's because my character has not yet been exposed to the concept of hexes. And uh, hexes are a different type of magic. Um, you know, there are, there are miracles, which are faith-based. And there are sorceries, which are magic-based. And then you have what they call hexes, which are both faith and sorcery, um, or, or magic-based. And I think that hexes are actually really cool. Uh, personally, I end up using them a lot. Uh, yeah, see, I, and all these, all this equipment. Ooh, black. Yeah, holy cow. Black hollow mage robes. Oh wait, is that what I started with? So I traded down earlier in the game, and you guys just let me. Is that is that the deal? <sighs> all right, I'm gonna remember that. All the soldiers. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, do I want by any chance? A second weapon equipable. Uh, let's see here. Cleric's Chime. Now, wait, which one? That's what I've got there. The Bastard Sword, 20 and 11, 25, 9 and 3, 2, 7 and 10, 9 and 5. I think. So far, this is the best, like, weapon that I can have. And this is the best shield I think I can have. Very cool. So we're going to hold the shield the proper way in this game, of course. It always never really made sense uh, why it would, would not be worn this way. Uh, I really like the attention to detail and some of the tropes that they they managed to not kind of squish, squatch um, through. All right, so... Wait, no, why am I talking to you again? I accidentally did that. What I really want to do is I want to leap. No! I pressed the X button again. Terrible. Terrible. 
This is just awful. If this is a speed run, I just totally lost like valuable seconds. It's not a speed run though. So let's go back to Hades Tower of Flame. Now it's actually really hard to find co-op partners on the PS3 version here. So I guess I'm gonna go through as much of it as as I want to until I I run into one. Um, and the enemies here aren't bad. Now I say that right as they contributed I think to my first or second death. It may have been my uh, no. No, my first death was in the tutorial, I think, right? I, I tried to uh, stab someone down um, from above, and then I I was unable to make that happen. I missed the mark, then I got hit and took the fall damage, and it was just it was just a uh, cluster fudge sickle of, of a mess. Um, that's okay. All right, now just to get him a little excited here. Yep. And see, the thing is, we couldn't, we couldn't actually do any real damage before, and now we can. Actually, we can do a lot of real damage, and I'm, I'm very happy about that, too. Uh, because I, I, you know, I hate to just kind of pick people off with soul arrows. Um, I mean, it's certainly the safer thing to do. Oh, thank God these aren't, like, the crazy stamina ones. Later on in the game, there are these, uh guys with the hammer like thing they've got like stamina like you wouldn't believe and they just keep wailing on you oh! oh man that was bad that was real bad that almost became I think what like death number five and I'm keeping a pretty decent ratio again I think I should be I should be in the positive numbers I should go ahead and check through or you know if someone wants to comment and actually tell me hey well you know what int or uh, Carl Doc, da, la. dang it you know I'm not trying to be squirrely about this but holy cow all right you know what no that was dumb of me and see dodging in Hades is is kind of like gambling if you don't know the uh, the area Sublime Bone Dust. Oh, yes. Uh, Sublime Bone Dust is a great item. I had forgotten that it existed, but so that is the other Estus Flask reinforcing item. And what it allows you to do then is it allows you to heal more life. Oh. Literally useless. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Now, I think they even added, like, some kind of weird dragon thing to this area in, like, the uh, current gen version. Now, I do have... do. Well, that's okay. Lloyd's Talisman. Nice. Okay, so... What does this do? For a long time, I couldn't figure it out. And and so there's a platform down there with a boss, and the boss's name is Dragon Rider. Uh, or he's like one of the two twin Dragon Riders. Um, I love his soul. I love it for what it enables me to get later on in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this, because if you notice that platform in the center, well, it's surrounded by water. Now, you can be cheap, actually, and you can set it up to where it's just a slim platform in the center, and you can just kind of try to knock him off. And, and you can do that with limited success, but I... I do prefer to have like the full field uh, as much as possible so that I can dodge and, and, and do my thing. Um, but I mean, you know, he's a, he's a really an easy boss actually. The, the Dragon Rider may actually may be the easiest boss in the game. Well, no, no, there, there certainly are some that, uh, that deserve that role. Okay. So we're gonna be kind of a jerk here, and uh, because it makes sense. All right, there's three of those guys in there, and and I think I'm gonna aggro at least two of them by doing this. Da, -ha! lol. All right. Yeah. See, I aggroed two. All right. So cool, he's he's gone. But now I need to I need to go ahead and I need to pull him here. Oh dear. Alright, there's actually two of them. So I cannot handle 
two of these jerk face heads at the same time. It's it's not going to work well. I mean, like, I've done it before. I've also done it with a more developed character, and this character is not what I would call developed. Um, you know, physically, sure, but... <laughs> okay, great. Uh, this is this is just fine. Whoa, hey, but I need my shield and not the binoculars. And swing that way, okay. Very cool, you want to watch their patterns? Left, right, left. And swing, swing. Oh, 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 I didn't have enough uh, stamina. I'm not always used to low stamina characters. Ooh. No, oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that animation. That's a terrible idea. And see, I just don't trust myself not to get staggered. Otherwise, I would just be eating his physical attacks. Now, there are 100% uh, physical damage blocking shields. And ideally, that is your first real goal when it comes to defense, is to acquire 100% uh, damage blocking shield. And you'll notice that I pretty much live behind my shield at times. I mean, I don't hold it down all the time, but, uh, but a good amount of the time I do. All right, so we're well, good. You know, this is this is a good area to have uh, a controlled battle in. He's another uh, sword sentinel guy. He's a sinus genius girl. Did I say sinus? Science genius girl. Barbie world. Ba. Oh, oh, did you see that? I actually dodged right into that. That was silly of me. Now, luckily, these guys are kind of slow. Um, they're kind of like the... Oh! I didn't know he actually had four attacks. There we go. Okay, clack, clacked, clack, cracked, cracked. All right, we got another one of those things to come up. I like this. We're going to pull it. I can't remember if it's a total of two or three, but I think it's three. Uh, and then there's another switch that opens up another area where we actually can visit an old friend uh, for those Dark Souls 1 players. Uh, it's actually kind of a cool... Well, I mean, I kind of was like, oh my god, and I geeked out. I was like, whoa, that's so-and-so from da-da-da-da-da place. And uh, I, I just got really excited. I got incredibly excited. Now... All right, so uh, he's just got a sword. He doesn't even have a shield, actually. So in a way, he's going to be a little bit easier to pick off from a distance. And it's not like I can actually do this to Dragon Rider. There's just, it's just not feasible to uh, ever really have the true room uh, to do such thing. All right, I always worry though that this is just somehow gonna work out badly every time I walk uh, across there. Like, can you imagine a speedrunner? Well, a speedrunner wouldn't get this, right? The green blossom is not even an item that is uh, honestly worth it. Uh, what does this say? Silence, woman. Ah, I'm gonna raid it. Uh. All right, all right, cool. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna summon Ganick, and we're gonna summon. Masterless Glencore. Now I'm I'm presuming that Masterless Glencore is what? Uh that that sounds like an NPC. Yeah. I don't remember this guy. I really don't remember this guy. But I'm also waiting then for the human player. Uh so that he can uh play with us. Alright. Uh, but you know, in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna wave to the NPC, right? Oh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna wave. Show show my support for uh, his artificial intelligence. And I gotta be really careful though, because it turns out I don't have a lot of health restoring items. And I'm gonna go and wave, Gnick. You are in fact in front of your controller, yes. All right, war cry time, war cry time, raw. Okay. All right. Gracias ustedes, vámonos. Oh yeah, we don't even get a cutscene with this guy. 
I do forget about that. Oh, man, that, that does sting a little. All right, now they got him distracted. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, beat his uh, little behind here. Because I am looking forward to uh, moving, moving on to the other boss, but also activating the bonfire. Because the more I, bonfires I activate, the the more like mobile I can be in this game, and the more I'm able to actually find things, which is really nice. Ooh, I didn't even see that hit me. I don't even understand where that connected, but I just took a butt tucking tuck fun of damage. Um. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. Do I get a lot from him? I, you know, I think I do actually. I think I get a large amount of souls. Well, how much was that? Oh no, not a lot. Dragon Rider soul, hardly worth it. Hardly worth it. Okay. Uh. Now. Is he going? No, oh, he's going. Okay. Very cool. All right. So we took out one. And uh, and that's fine for now, actually. Right, look at this area. I actually think it's gorgeous. Like, looks ridiculously good. And, and that, that those god rays um, and then the subtle lighting bloom. That's very, very subtle, right? Just like a very subtle glow. This isn't near Gears of War where, like, you know, a quarter of the screen is bloom or something. And well, Anyway. So we want to talk to this person here, okay? We do not want to kill her yet. I mean, at all. Are you from these parts? I am. My name is Lysia. Hello, Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. Fantastic. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. That's only because I leveled up my intelligence. Oh, well, actually, no. I, I, yeah. oh, no, my, my faith, I mean. Decide. Yeah, all right. I'm going to buy... What is this? Increases faith? No. Heal, med heal, great heal excerpt. Um, no. How many slots do these take? Uh, okay. There's splendid life force. Homeward guidance. Guidance is maybe the most, I think, useless skill. Uh, replenishment. Um... Gradually restores HP. So that's like a regen spell, but it requires 16 faith. So really, there's not many things that I can do. I, I don't know. I mean, it might be worth it to uh, to pick up that spell. The, the force spell. I have had some okay experiences with it but mostly I don't find it useful I'd heard awful rumors about this place and I'm afraid they were all true the king gone the earth ravaged the burden on the people weighs heavy I fear that by now they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles why did I come here well do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only wish. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is... Well... I must do this and being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude I expected this cathedral to be bustling I'm going through this dialogue it's actually kind of interesting you'll, you'll see maybe what I mean without any goings-on I'll have to move soon to a place I could gull them Sorry, help the gullible by teaching the good word. <laughs> so she can gull. Hmm. 
I think she repeats that one. I don't remember I though. That yeah, she does. To a place. So, you know, I've got some misgivings. May the power of miracles be with you. And I should have some misgivings. Offer your, Offer your souls to the gods. Not your soul, but your souls. I like that subtle distinction, actually. I don't really get the uh, the impression, and I don't feel like you should get the impression that she is, in fact, the uh, the uh, good God, loving God, fearing um, individual that she purports to be. But we're gonna see. Perhaps I have misjudged her. Perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps I know about the storyline. Perhaps I'm trying to throw you off. Maybe she's totally. Uh, maybe she's totally a really nice person. That's up for you to see and decide. Uh, so I've actually jumped from trying to do an average of 15 minute videos to 30 minute videos. Um, I realize it's less advertising revenue for me, but who gives a care? Um, it, it's just, it's a little more free and I'm producing enough videos at a consistent enough rate to where I, I don't really feel like that is a big of a deal. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and there. we're gonna do our traditional um, leveling up that we do at the, the end of each episode. Um, for me, it's a good way. Uh, it's a good way to just kind of build my build. Now, uh, and honestly, my build is uh, maybe unnaturally lopsided. Um, I think most people stop at about nine vigor. Uh, well, like, um, like, like your. No, I want to even say hardcore players, but you know, I haven't touched endurance or vitality really. Um, and at some point, I, I, I would like to. Uh, I would like to build a uh, sort of dex, um, build into my dex a little bit. But in order to do any of that anyway, I need to have a higher equip load and I need to have more stamina. Um, so I kind of look at it like I need to update or uh, upgrade those first before I uh, do anything else, you know? So, and, and I got some souls I could consume but no, I've got a soul I could consume, and it's not even a good soul, so this is a great spot to leave off, all right? Thank you so much for watching episode six of Let's Play Dark Souls 2 on N Plus One channel. I'm having a great time playing this. I've actually been playing it a little bit disproportionately more than some of the other games. I really need to get back to uh, to 3D Doc Game Heroes, in fact. So, in fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill this video now and I'm going to go to uh, start 3D.Game Heroes because that's been ignored and it should not be ignored, actually. It should it should be embraced. Uh, it's a great game. And, uh, you know, I'm not playing it because I haven't not been enjoying it or anything. It's another From Software game and all of you know me, I really like my From Software. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump to uh, 3D.Game Heroes. Uh, what I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and subscribe. I want you to like me on Facebook. Um, you know, connect with me in any way, right? Make some comments, make some noise, right? You know, throw your hands in the air like you just don't care or whatever you want to do, right? However you want, however you want to express, I like this. I want to be a part of this. I want to share this experience with you, Carl, or, or whoever's doing the Let's Plays. You know, all of us, uh, well, there's only one other, all of us. Uh, but we all have these different uh, unique personalities. And I'm going to be bringing uh, other players, uh, other established YouTubers. Actually, that is what I want to do. I want to collaborate with you. I want to co-op with you, or maybe we can meet in real life. Um, you know, like the possibilities, they are endless. Okay, so this is something I'd like to do. Go ahead and connect with me, um, and I will see you next time.